Hi, campers. Uh, I, uh, Mike Joswack here. That's how you pronounce my name, Joswack. I don't care how it's spelled. Just it's 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 Mr. Joswack, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, uh, week one of interpersonal communication. <clears throat> we're gonna call we're gonna call this the uh, the uh, here's here's uh, uh, what the class is all about kind of day. All right, so prep yourself. Um, uh, let's just do this. Um, uh, interpersonal communication is your speech credit here at Lakeville North High School, and I'm super excited. I really am um, because oh oh boy. Uh, first of all, I'm I'm passionate about communication. I'm super passionate about uh, the interpersonal communication class. If I were to rename this course, and I wish I could. If I were to rename this course, it would be named How to Talk to and Listen to and Get Along with Almost Anyone About Almost Anything. Seriously, how to talk to and listen to people about a myriad of different subjects and still be able to coexist and get along. Wow, I think we need that. All right, I really do. The other name for this class is, is uh, extra special. Okay, the other name for this class should be how to make really, really good friends and keep them for life. All right, how to build and maintain relationships and keep them ad, ad nauseum forever. Okay, um, how to be a better best friend. That's what the class is all about. There's gonna, yeah, we're going to sneak in some school. We really are. But the class is really about life. It's about life. It's about going out and working with and living with and coexisting with people. Okay, so hang on for that ride. And again, my argument is super important. And, and, and then I get to give you some speech credit. And then you can get your flat hat and your diploma and get the heck out of this box. Okay? All right. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Let's talk about the box a little bit. The public school here in Lakeville. Let's talk about that. I'm, I'm gonna be honest about it. We do a great job of putting you, you know, in, in, into classrooms. Well, typically. We do a great job of putting you into like straight and narrow rows and teaching you, we're, we're, we're teaching you how to do math. We're teaching you how to write, how to read. We're teaching you. We're teaching you how to do chemistry, and all of that stuff is really important. I'm not belittling the content there. A little more art wouldn't hurt, but I'm not belittling the content there. What I am saying is the thing that we don't really care about. The thing that we do not care about is your ability to open your mouth and speak articulately, speaking articulately, listening to other people, communicating with other people. We don't care about that. And I'm, I, I'm just, I'm going to tell the truth. And if the superintendent's listening, great, even better. Because here's the truth. The reason we don't care about how you sound when you talk, the reason we don't care about your ability to form a sentence out loud verbally and sound intelligent at the same time is because there's no test. There is no part of the ACT test that says, does she sound smart when she talks? There is no part of, uh, of, the, uh, of, of the standardized Minnesota State standardized tests. There's no part of the standardized tests in Minnesota that says when he, when he opens his mouth, does he sound smart? So guess what? Because we care about all that, we don't care about your ability to speech. We don't care about your ability to talk with other people. And honestly, quite frankly, if you can't fill in the, you know, the bubbles with a number two pencil, man, I tell you what, we don't, we don't care so much about it. All right. Again, I come back to this. Look at your art classes and your music classes. 
the one or two that we offer around here. Why? Because there's no Minnesota State standardized test. It's not rocket science. But now, now, now go with me on this. Go with me. We take you after you graduate. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, 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 hairball. Listen, we take, you, we take you after you graduate, and we toss you into the world out there. We toss you into what we're going to call the real world, okay? Like, okay, listen, every day of your life, it's the real world, okay? But we, we're going to graduate you. You get your flat hat, your diploma. You go to college for four years. Okay, listen, out there, after high school, talking and sounding intelligently is a survival tool. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Out there, talking, listening, and communicating, and being intelligent when you do that, being intelligent when you talk, is a survival tool. But nobody's telling you that. Oh, it's all, you know, fill in the bubbles on this math test and this science test. Can you read this passage and analyze the work? Okay, fine. All good. But then, you know, you, you go into a job interview. It's not a number two pencil, campers. There's no bubbles to fill out. You go into the job interview for the job of your dreams. Trust me on this one. And you don't sound intelligent when you talk. In the entire time you're testing... The entire time you're testing, oh my God, the entire time you're interviewing, if you do not sound intelligent when you talk, they might sit politely and smile at you, Ew, oh, 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 but in the back of their minds the entire time, if you're stumbly, if you're mumbly, if you're inarticulate, they will be screaming, next, trust me. I didn't start teaching until I was in my mid-30s. Before that, I used to hire and fire people. I never once hired someone that stumbled and mumbled through the job interview, especially like if they like filled like their answers like with like ridiculous like filler words like. Okay? But nobody's telling you this. Nobody, nobody, nobody's telling you this. All right? I am, and I'm passionate about it, all right? I want my students to be successful after we toss you out of here, all right? So hang on for that ride, because that's one of the big things we're going to teach you in interpersonal communication, which, again, should be how to talk to and listen to people, get along with almost anyone. Okay. How to build friendships and maintain those for life. All right. All right. Well, there's that. All right. And I'm, and I'm, man, I tell you what, I am most sincerely adamant about building you into someone that will get the job. Okay. Because this is your world. It wasn't mine. It wasn't my work when I first started, you know, going out looking for jobs back in 19... <coughs> <coughs> okay, it wasn't, it wasn't my, sorry, it was a long time ago, back when dirt was new, all right, when, when, when I was first looking for jobs, man, uh, uh, it was way easier than it will be for you, you're going to go to four years of college, you're going to get a degree, okay, uh, man, I tell you what, uh, don't even get me started on the fact that college is not for everybody, but listen, you're going to go, you're going to get a degree. You're going to be in line with a hundred other people for the job of your dreams. You will be. And they've got 200 other applications that they're just sorting into the trash can. Okay? A hundred people are going to be in line for your job. Do you really think they're going to want to hire somebody that mumbles and stumbles and is inarticulate when they talk. Why would we do that? You're all going to look the same on paper. Trust me. 
you're all going to have your degrees, you know, from St. Olaf or St. Thomas or St. wherever you go. You're all going to have your degrees. You're all going to have great letters of reference. Okay? Ooh, ooh. And then it comes down to this. It comes down to opening your mouth and sounding smart when you talk. Now, the beauty is, even though the entire system here doesn't care about that, even though you can stumble and mumble your way through the science presentation that they call a speech, okay, and still get an A, because you know the difference between mitosis and meiosis, even though you can stumble and mumble your way through that presentation and get an A, um, uh, 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 no, not, not in my class. But the beauty is that I am going to train you. We're going to start with things like how to stand. Okay, what to, what to do with these things. <laughs> okay, how to open your mouth and say words like going to instead of gonna. Okay, to put, to put the entire word together so that it comes out of your face. Like hoping hoping okay because if you sit in a job interview and you say i'm sure hoping to get this job hoping to get this job i've been you know <laughs> I've, been, I've been hoping to get a job for a long time yeah well that's because you're saying hoping i'm going to teach you how not to truncate words i'm going to teach you how to articulate the english language and not to talk in the teen language that you're so used to, and, and that still gets you A's in a presentation in science class. That's what this course is all about. My agenda, not even a secret hidden agenda. My agenda is that you end up sounding smarter when you talk. The beauty is I will systematically train you to do that. I will. We will get the first speech we give. Everybody's going to get an A, okay? I just need to see you. I need to see what you're doing. Then we'll fix it. We will take the semester and fix it, okay? All right, the rest of the stuff that we're going to talk about, the rest of the stuff that's in the semester, it's on the syllabus, all right? That's the stuff about communication process. It's the stuff about, it's the stuff about intrapersonal communication, the listening skills that we don't have, all right? It's how to, like, build those relationships. It's all in the syllabus. And you can see that syllabus online on Schoology. And we'll go through the syllabus tomorrow in lesson number two of week one. Again, I'm Mike Joswak. I'll be your instructor for the semester. If all goes well, if all goes well, I'll be your instructor the entire semester. Then... You get a bigger brain, you sound smarter when you talk, you're more apt to be able to stay in the relationships you want to stay in, okay? How cool is that? How, how fun is that? All right? Well, I think it's fun. I, I do. I, I do. I do. All right, I got to go. I got to, they're, they're, they're calling me. <laughs> uh, no, they're not. See ya.